Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to explain how to install and run locally Olama Deep Researcher on a Linux Ubuntu computer. I anticipate that you will ask the following question. Why is this model so important? Well, this model enables you to use your locally hosted large language model such as Olama, DeepC, QWQ, Mistral or a similar model to search the internet. But more than that, the search procedure is actually performed using a feedback algorithm shown over here. Namely, you set the search topic, for example, find me best books on a certain topic, search query is generated, then web search is performed by using DuckDuckGo search engine, then summary is created, then the large language model reflects upon the results, uses a feedback algorithm over here, creates a new search query, identifies gaps, and creates a new search question or modifies the search question such that you obtain better results and you can control how many times this feedback control loop is being performed and here you can immediately see the importance of control theory for AI agent namely I spend most of my life studying and doing research in control theory and sooner or later I knew that large language models, AI agents, will have to converge to control theory because the control theory and stability theory and theory with dynamical systems are in the essence of any AI problem. In our previous video tutorial, we explained how to install Olama Deep Researcher on a Windows machine. Following the tradition of this channel to cover both Linux and Windows installation, in this video tutorial, we are going to explain how to install Olama Deep Researcher on a Linux Ubuntu machine. The installation procedure is slightly more complex compared to the Windows installation. Okay, so let's immediately start with installation. First of all, open a terminal, click here, search for terminal, and let me resize this window over here. Now, first of all, verify the Linux distribution you have by typing this command, and you can see over here that I'm running Ubuntu 24.04, and you can follow this tutorial if you're using this Ubuntu version or, for example, Ubuntu version 22.04. Okay, so first of all, let's update and upgrade all, all the packages by running this command and enter your password. And this might take a while. After we update and upgrade, we need to install curl and we need to install git. To install curl, you need to execute this command. To install git, you need to execute this command. The next step is to install Olama. To install Olama, you need to go to the Olama website by typing OLLAMA.com. Then over here, click on download, then click on Linux, and this installation command will be generated. Copy it, go back to terminal, paste it, and press enter. And it's going to take a while to install Olama, maybe even one minute. So be patient. And after some time, you should see this message. Good. Let's verify Olama installation. The best strategy is to simply type Olama in your terminal. And if you see this generic response, this means that Olama is installed. The next step is to download model or models. That is in plural. So click here on models on the Olama website. And I will give you several suggestions. First of all, before we do that, let's go back to this GitHub repository and scroll all the way down. Now, somewhere over here, let me find the section. There are certain instructions on what works and what doesn't work. So you can see here model compatibility note section. They're claiming here that Llama 2 3.2 and DeepSeek R1 8B are working okay. However, there are some issues with DeepSeek R1. Now, I'm having an NVIDIA 3090 GPU and I can do better than DeepSeek R1 8B and Llama 3.2. And consequently, I'm going to go and search for DeepSeek model over here. 
And over here, I'm not going to download 7B model. I'm going to download more powerful and larger model, 14B model. And then over here, here is the, the command that will install the model. But before I explain how to install the model, let me give you a few important comments. First of all, if you have a lower end GPU, such as for example, NVIDIA 2090 GPU, or sorry, 2060 GPU, or some older version of GPU, then you shouldn't go, you shouldn't go with this model. You should try, for example, the model such as uh, 8B. Let me see, are they saying something bad? Yes. So you can go with, for example, 8B model, or you can go with 7B model. However, if you have a higher end GPU, then you can either go with this model, 14B, or you can even try 32B model, 70B model, or if you have a very powerful GPU, then you can go with the full 671B model. However, let's stick to this model. Copy this command, go back to the terminal, paste this command, and instead of, instead of run over here, simply type pull and press enter. Now, Nothing prevents you to download another model that you can also test by using this amazing software. To do that, open simply a new terminal and let's search for another model. For example, another model that I like a lot is QWQ. QWQ is the newest model by Alibaba and you can see over here that the model is 32 billion parameters and it works well on my NVIDIA 3090 GPU. If you have, for example, NVIDIA 4090 GPU, then the model execution will be even faster. So you can download this model, or if you are really short on GPU performance and GPU memory, then you can go with Llama 3.1, for example, 8B model, or you can also go with Llama 3.2 models. These models are actually very small. Let me see what, what will be shown if I type this. If you type Llama 3.2, you will be directed to this repository and you can, for example, copy this command and in the new terminal, you can simply execute this command with pull and this will download the second model. Okay. And after some time, both models will be downloaded as you can see over here and over here. Next, let's verify that the model, models exist on our computer. To do that, type Olama list and you should see both models on your computer. The next step is to clone the remote repository of this project. We need to clone this GitHub repository. So how to do that? Well, this is relatively simple. Make sure first that you're in the home folder by typing this and then you need to execute this command. How to create this command? Well, go to this website over here and then simply copy this address and then over here type this address with .git and then just type git clone and this will download everything and create a new folder on your computer. To go to that folder simply type cd olama-deep-researcher go to this folder and the next step is to create a Python virtual environment. First of all, click Python 3 version to verify your Python version. Most likely it's 3.12. Next, you need to install the command for creating Python virtual environments. Here it is. You type sudo apt install Python 3.12. Note over here that these three numbers should match your Python version and press enter, enter your password and that's it. Next, you need to activate your Python virtual environment. How to do that? First of all, you need to create the Python virtual environment by executing this command. And finally, you need to activate it like this. And that's it. Next, we need to set the environment variables. That is, we need to define our large language model, search engine, and some other parameters. The easiest way is to go to your home folder, then click on the workspace folder of the downloaded repository and you will see .env.example file. First of all, do the right click and click on the rename and erase .example. That is, the file name should be just .env. And then let's open this file and let's start the modifications. Okay. 
First of all, we need to set the Olama base URL. Usually this URL or this local address is given over here. Let me verify that this address is working. Open a new tab in your web browser and type this address. And if you see Olama is running, this means that Olama is indeed running on this local host. So let's go back here and then paste this part over here. Then you need to specify the Olama model. So let's go back over here in the terminal and type Olama list to see all the models and let's go with DeepSeq-R1. If you have a lower end GPU, then you could go with Llama 3.2. And over here, I'm going to paste the model name without space over here. Good. Then let's specify search API. I will go with DuckDuckGo. This is a free search engine and you don't need to have an API. And over here, simply comment this line and this line since we are, we are, we are not going to use Tavily and Perplexity. Specify here max web research loops. If you want to see the recommended parameters, go to the GitHub repository. And over here, you can see that the maximum number of research loop steps is actually defined by max max web research loops and defaults to three however let's go for example with five over here and let's set this parameter fetch full page let's go with true okay and let's save this save this file and let's close everything now we are all set and we can actually proceed with installation of dependencies and other things First of all, we need to execute this command and let's be patient. Okay, and finally, we need to run this command. And let's press enter. And let's see what happens. Now, note over here that this command is different from the command suggestion suggested on this website since over here on the website, wait, wait let us, let for a second, let me just close this. For a second, let me show you what's happening over here. You can see that this command over here is slightly different since over here it's written 3.12. However, my Python version is three, actually it's written 3.11. However, my Python version is 3.12. Now, what I did right now actually closed the graphics user interface of this model, so I will have to redo stuff. I will press Control C to stop this command, and I will have to repeat this since I closed, unfortunately, the graphics user interface, and here it is. You will see that after some time, this graphics user interface is generated, and we can start using this amazing model. So let's do a simple test over here. But before we do that, let's just click here and click on Manage Assistance. Make sure that everything is okay here. And over here, you can even change the number of parameters. Let me just decrease Max Web Research Loops since these parameters are read from the .env file. And let me just create a new assistant and close this. And let's go with the question, uh, what, is, what is the best book to learn C++? Let's see what this model will give us. If we now press submit, let's see what will happen. You can see now the flow over here. The query is being generated. Then we are now in web search. Now you can see over here. You see now what is being uh, processed over here, then reflect on the summary, second loop, again we are searching, and we will have three loops over here. So we go back and forth, back and forth several times. And over here you can see the response, you can see everything being summarized nicely, and over here you can see the references on best books on C++, etc. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.